But what about the metal? What happens to that when it burns? Well, again, it's combining with the oxygen from the air, uh, forming iron oxides. And we can show this uh, on the balance in the front here. So I have some iron wool on the, on the balance. We'll just set this to zero. And in a moment, we're going to start this burning, uh, combining with the oxygen from the air. And hopefully, you might see a change in the readout on the balance. So if I just start this, uh, get this uh, to burn. Now, it's not quite as vigorous with the oxygen that I added before. That was concentrated oxygen. This is just going to burn in the oxygen from the air. It's much more slow, slow and con uh, controlled combustion. Can we have the lights down, please, just to... There we are. It's just going now. So I'll start it around here as well. Okay, so it's slowly burning, and the reading on the balance uh, hasn't yet gone up. <laughs> I'm hoping it will any moment. That's it. <laughs> All right, and now it's going up. That's it. Phew. Okay, so what's happening here? The iron wool is combining with the oxygen from the air. And a chemical reaction is taking place that's giving out heat and light. And, well, the reading here is increasing. It's getting heavier. So the iron is combining with the oxygen from the air, forming iron oxides. And it's trapping the oxygen from the air in this new chemical compound, and the chemical compounds that are being formed, the iron oxides. So now this is uh, a gram heavier than it started off. This is because of the air trapped in this, the oxygen chemically combined with the iron. It's uh, 1.2 grams heavier, still increasing as it's continuing to burn. OK, so we can show this using a chemical equation. If we have the uh, slides on, please. The iron is combining with the oxygen from the air, forming well various iron oxides here, and releasing energy in the form of light and, and heat. Okay.